Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged. So what better a video to upload on the day I personally get to play Fallout 76 than a mod adding in Vault 76 or some aspects of it into Fallout 4. If you guys want more details on when you'll see the gameplay from the event I'm attending right now, this is pre-recorded, I'll say those at the end of this video, but more or less a mod author for Fallout 4 looked at some of the trailers we have recently gotten for Fallout 76 and decided he's going to recreate some aspects or what aspects we could see of Vault 76. Vault 76 is basically where you start in the game, it goes through the tutorial, introducing some of the new and probably returning game systems, but basically after you leave it, you can never return back to it. And this mod, although very feature incomplete, is well done. I walked through it and tried as best I could to mimic what we actually saw in the Welcome to West Virginia gameplay trailer that we got for Fallout 76, and looking at those comparisons, it's really, really close. And overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. Don't you remember? Time to leave the vault! Most of the others have already gone. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. More or less, what's actually done as of right now are a lot of the things we've seen in the trailer. The mod author said on his mod page, he's going to add more as we actually get this gameplay dump. And you know what, just for you dude, I'm gonna try and actually go through all of Vault 76. Some other people might also, but I'll try and get you all those different angles and camera shots so we could have a complete vault. Unfortunately though, as I kind of indicated towards the beginning of this, even though certain aspects of this are very complete and very well done, the mod itself doesn't really serve a purpose just yet. The way you get into it is just by some floating door behind Vault 101's entrance, and then from there you can see certain aspects of it are just unfinished, while other aspects are actually really well polished. And typically this isn't the kind of mod I would cover, but the reason I wanted to is I think this is something with a ton of potential. What he's done thus far is really accurate. And there are a variety of cool implementation methods with this, whether it be using the Vault Tech DLC so you could actually customize this vault yourself, or even if it was just a static player home. Some of the custom settlers could be some of the characters we see from Fallout 76, such as the Overseer. We got a good look at a lot of this from the most recent trailer. Either way, this guy had done some really awesome work and I would love for this mod to continue to get updated, so I did want to highlight it. If you're feeling that Fallout 76 itch though, and you don't want to wait until you get the beta or some of this new gameplay, which is still a ways away, there is a mod you could actually download right now. Fallout 4 76 is actually a mod you could download right now. What it's going to do is remove all the human NPCs. It seems at first that it was kind of a joke or not really practical, but now if you actually download some of these later versions, it's quite a bit of fun. Like in the original version, they also bring to the table griefers and some other gameplay events like a nuke falling on you. But since its original release in June, it's actually got a ton of new updates. There's one version now that will basically replace a lot of the human NPCs with feral ghouls, basically turning Fallout 76 into a zombie apocalypse. A lot of the cool quests you still can do because they use robot NPCs. But honestly, the mod author does a good job of describing it. Using the feral version, it really feels like you're in like I Am Legend or something, and it creates for a very different but very fun gameplay experience. Even beyond that, you could also download the Synth World version, which is going to replace everyone with, you guessed it, synths or enemy robots. Instead of being I Am Legend, now you're John Connor from the Terminator series. Either way, it really is a cool mod. A bunch of other features have also been added, such as robot vendors so you can actually trade with people and even survivor rescue so you can go and rescue a few characters from certain events that will occur randomly and you'll get alerted to all in all it's very well polished and again it's not going to be your traditional fallout experience and it's definitely not going to be an exact replication of fallout 76 but if you're bored of fallout 4 and just want to try something new or do something a little bit different there's going to be a great mod to download i'd recommend maybe downloading a few equipment mods and just go to town on some of the enemies as i mentioned earlier i am pre-recording this video so timing wise I should be playing Fallout 76 pretty close to when you watch this. I'm not allowed to share any details or gameplay or anything like that of the game until October 8th but I think the wait's going to be worth it. I know for me at least personally 
I'm just going to post all of my gameplay unedited and raw. I know I get to play the game for a few hours, so you'll get a few hours of gameplay from me, but also from all of the other YouTubers that are also going to this event. In addition, I'll probably go over some of the things we see from the interview and also just my impressions of the game. If you want some more real-time updates, I know I'll actually be able to share some of the other events going on as I attend this larger event. You can follow me on Twitter. As always, I have a link to that down below. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I'm super excited to attend this event. I'm filming this the day before I leave. But when you're seeing this, I may have actually played Fallout 76, which is pretty crazy. As always, again, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.